So, Nicole, I understand that you're the manager of this establishment? Yes. The so, Oakland, uh, Marriott and the Convention Center. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, both locations. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Do both locations host events for African American students? Actually, yes. Well, the Marriott takes care of the rooms and the convention takes care of the big space. Downstairs, we have the East Hall and the West Hall where all the colleges are. And then we have all the meeting rooms where they're taking care of all the seminars. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, well, this is wonderful for students and families to find out about college. Do you um, have any special discounts that you're giving in the restaurant while they're here, they can dine? Actually, only the bar is open today, so the students are not allowed. <laughs> but um, normally, they, they have a concession stand downstairs in the exhibit hall, and they're selling goodies and things that kids like to eat. Give me the history of this hotel. It's, it's, this is a remarkable time, because we are approaching Black History Month, and this is an event uh, African Americans are attending to educate themselves and advance their opportunities. So give me the history of this establishment. Uh, How do I relate to that? As now, as I remember it, the Black College Expo goes back about 19 years, and they had it here for a long time. I believe uh, they took a five-year break, and now they're back, so we're very excited about that because Oakland is a perfect location for something like this. We have several African-American students, not only in Oakland, but in the area. So this is a centralized location where they can all come. They can get here easily. We have BART, there's buses, there's easy ways to get here for the parents. So we're excited that it's back here. Oh, that's fantastic. I understand that the, the rate for entrance was discounted for the communities that are surrounding this area. Did the hotel subsidize that? Did they help with that at all? Actually, I'm not sure. I would have to check with our sales manager on that, but I'm sure we helped in some way. But yes, the local high schools were discounted for tickets to, uh, to attend. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, is there anything uh, kind of in closing that you would want people to know about the, the history's commitment uh, of this hotel? Just that are you guys part of the planning of the event? Or is there anything that you want to kind of share about um, that? One thing I would like to share is we try to do as many community events as we can, especially on the weekends when um, we don't get as much um, meeting traffic in this space. Um, we've had several notable events here. We had the Daughters of the Civil Rights Movement here. Um, we've had, uh, we used to have the Black College Expo for years and years, and we're happy that it's back. So we do try to partner with the community as much as we can. Uh, we also partner with the Martin Luther King Association, which is a local association that also helps uh, students of color. So we do try to welcome them into our doors as much as we can. As long as the dates match up and we can all make it happen, we work towards that. This is an extension of Black Lives Matter. We're here in Oakland, and we have two powerful leaders here that are really here to change the face of education. They're building a legacy in Oakland, and they're partnering with us here at the Black College Expo. We have the superintendent and the assistant superintendent, and I'm gonna let them introduce themselves. Antoine Wilson, superintendent, Oakland Unified. Bernard McCune, deputy chief, Oakland Unified School District. And why are you guys here today? Well, we're here to show our support. Um, we're extremely excited about the opportunity of our African-American students uh, learning about college. We're extremely excited to uh, partner with organizations that are very serious about our students uh, learning about uh, what's out there for them. And we wanted to bring our families. We wanted our young people, uh, our students, our children, to see what's here in Oakland and to know that we care and we are part of the solution to ensure that our kids get the best of what's available in this country, what they deserve. And as you see, their village, see, we're building a village. And tell us, Bernard, what? Well, it is so important for us to uh, work with and support. We're appreciative of the Black College Expo because the goal for the Oakland Unified School District is not for our students to graduate from high school and not for them just to enroll in college, but to graduate from college. And the historically black colleges have a huge tradition around making sure that students graduate and are successful in their careers. And if you were talking to parents right now who are parents of students here in Oakland, what is something that you would want them to know about your role in terms of a district, where it's going to go from here now, what you're doing in the district to make it different? 
Well, I think the number one thing that we want uh, parents to know is that we believe in their children. We believe in them, and we know that they are capable of great things, and we are committed to being here, partnering with them here in Oakland to ensure that their children get a great education. Partnering with the uh, Black College Expo, partnering with other organizations in the district, in the city, to ensure that African American students, along with all students, graduate from high school, graduate from college, and go on and get careers that allow them to take care of their families the way they want to. We want parents to uh work with us and be partners in education for the success of their students. And as we talk about the black male and you hear all across the country where that is and what's going on and the plight actually of the African American, black and brown, is there some words you want to share on that? What we want to say is our African American kings are tremendous individuals, that uh, we are invested in their success, and what we say is don't believe the hype if the hype is talking about what you can't do, what you aren't, what you don't bring. You have tremendous skills, you have tremendous talents, and it's our responsibility to ensure that you are successful, and we're here to do that. Look back and know your history. Don't believe everything people tell you because black people have uh, invented mathematics. Black people um, have been the leaders around the globe in uh, academics. So know your history and uh, don't be a statistic, be history and positive history. And so as I sign out, I'm Teresa Price, the founder of Black College Expo. And as you know, this is Antoine and this is Bernard. Know them on a first name basis. It's not a mister, it's not a doctor, trust me, they got all those degrees. But it's about helping you, and that's why they're here. So you need to know them on a first-name basis. As we sign out, we say peace and love. You can do anything you want to do in life. Just believe. That's right. And as I'll close out with a word, what's your final statement? Stay strong and believe. Yeah, stay strong and believe. Stay strong and believe. Oh, yes. And what do you guys have to say? What do you have to say? We can do it. We can do it. Say, and what's can, your say, word? Say, we can do it. 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 All right, so together, we can do it. My name's Officer Tim Jackson with San Jose Police Department here, my uh, partner in crime here, uh, Officer Ron Tabron. We're here at the uh, Black College Expo here in Oakland, California. We're looking for qualified applicants, uh, you know, looking for a job and career in law enforcement. San Jose is currently hiring. We have several positions open from police officer to dispatch to community service officers. Again, we're looking for good qualified candidates. We're looking for people like you here in Oakland to come join us. Our website is www.joinsjpdblue.com. Again, that's www.joinsjpdblue.com. Hi, my name is Christina Corpus. I'm a sergeant with the San Mateo County Sheriff's Office. Um, we're here today uh, recruiting for um, correctional officer positions and uh, deputy sheriff positions. We're looking for more diversity in our office, and so um, we're hoping that we have some uh, people that are interested here. Hi, I'm Andre Jackson, uh, San Mateo County Sheriff's Office, and I currently work for the Classification Administration uh, Department uh, in the main jail, and we are here today to uh, help with our recruiting efforts and becoming more diverse, uh, a more diverse sheriff's office. If you're interested in applying, um, correctional officer positions start at about between 70 and 75,000 a year with full benefits and um, our deputy sheriff lateral position comes in at about 85,000 a year depending on your uh, work experience. But if you'd uh, like more information, uh, please send us an email at uh, SO, that's uh, Sam Ocean, and then there's an underscore, uh, SO Recruitment at smcgov.org. Hello, I am Susan Randall Nelson. I am here today on behalf of both Pacific Gas and Electric and the American Association of Blacks and Energy. We want people to know about great career opportunities and scholarship opportunities for kids interested in studying the sciences, technologies, engineering, and math. We've got great scholarships both through the American Association of Blacks and Energy and PG&E. PG&E has over 12 different scholarship opportunities every year for both high school seniors and continuing college students. Check us out at pge.com, search scholarships, Come and get that scholarship money, look for those internships, look for those careers at PG&E. Want to see you here with me. Thank you. Bye. 
I'm Captain Hudson, this is Lieutenant Keeley. Um, we're here from San Jose State University. Yeah, we represent all, um, all the universities and colleges in the Bay, um, South Bay Area, from um, Stanford to UC Santa Cruz to Santa, Santa Clara University, all the junior colleges around that area. And we're here to see if any colleges have any general, any students have any general interest in Air Force ROTC as a whole. Okay, hello, how you doing? My name is Tramel Bradford, and I'm an assistant director with transfer recruitment at UCLA, also working with community diversity recruitment. Very excited to be here at the Black College Expo Oakland. All right, go education. I'm a proud UCLA alumnus, class of 2010 myself. Very proud to work at my alma mater within education, especially with minority students that look like myself. We're here spreading the gospel, talking about how fantastic UCLA is and all the great opportunities that are available to our students down in Southern California, talking about financial aid information, housing information, and most importantly, admission information. How to prepare your ninth, your 10th, your 11th grader, your senior for admission, and even have some transfer students who are interested in transfer from community colleges. So we're very excited to be here today, very excited to talk to your students. Thank you for having us, and we'll see you in LA. Contact information if you're interested in learning more about UCLA, visit our website www.admission.ucla.edu. You can also feel free to contact us or contact me directly by email. My email address is tbradford at saonet.ucla.edu. Again, that's tbradford at saonet, student affairs officer network, .ucla.edu. Love to hear from you. My name is Giselle Bonds. I'm representing Positive Images Photography here in Oakland, directly across from Lake Merritt on Grand Avenue. I'm thrilled to be back at, I believe, my 14th Black College Expo, and I'm looking forward to meeting many people and discussing family portraits, executive portraits, and of course, high school senior graduation. Uh, my online gallery can be seen at www.positiveimages.biz. Thank you. How's it going? My name is Kumi Rauf from the I Love Being Black movement. We're here at the 2015 Oakland Black College Expo. It's so positive seeing all these black youngsters out here concerned about their future, wanting to know what the next steps are for them. They're you know, signing up for scholarships. Some of them are getting, uh, getting accepted right now for some of these institutions and colleges that are out here. Trying to spread this positivity. The I Love Being Black, black movement, that's what it's all about. Check us out on Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash lovebeingblack. We got about 6.6 .6 million fans, the largest black Facebook page in the world. And this is where we spread this positivity. Again, this is the Black College Expo. It's a tour that goes around the nation. Hi there, I'm April Oakley with the Bureau for Private Post-Secondary Education and we're here at the Black College Expo. We're here informing students to research their schools. If you're interested in attending a private school, visit our website www.bppe.ca.gov to research the school, view their performance fact sheets and also their annual reports. Again, our website is www.bppe.ca.gov and we'll see you at the Black College Expo. All right, my name is Sierra Latifa, and we're here with KBLX at the Black College Expo. Um, we're here promoting our station. We got an Enter to Win contest going on for a concert in March, and uh, we're hanging out with all the students at the, at the college fair. Come out. If you didn't make it this year, definitely come next year. We're going to have a ton of great prizes, just like we did this time. They wiped us clean. We had a ton more. So next time, get here earlier, win some tickets, come have some fun. And this is our... Co-worker from our sister station, Q102, brand new. Hi. Just started last September. Yes, we are a brand new station, Q102.1, the beat of the bay. It is an amazing station. We play 90s throwbacks and new music, so check it out. It's a great station, 102.1, Q, the beat of the bay. Check it out. Come visit us. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my name is Reggie Braddock. I'm a graduate of Tuskegee University. Back in the day, it was called Tuskegee Institute. And we are here at the Oakland Expo, and we at the Black College Expo, talking to promising young black students. So they make sure that we can steer them in the, in the right direction. Uh, everybody at the table here is a, an alum. We are all a business major. She's a business major. She is a, uh, a nursing major, okay? And I'm an engineering major, and we are here to, Trying to uh, point, the, right, point the, 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 the young folks in the right direction. Go to a historical black college and get out of California. We're here talking about Menlo College, small business school. Um, 
in Menlo Park, Atherton area, just north of Stanford University. Uh, we focus mostly on business management. A um, couple of our majors include accounting, finance, sports management, human resource management, psychology. Um, we're a small school, but uh, we get it done right. One of the most profound things that we do is a mandatory internship as part of your gradu graduation requirement. And that's uh, really been big for us. 90% of our students within a year are gainfully employed and, and doing what they set out to do. Right, you can reach us at www.menlo.edu. Uh, phone number is 650-543-3920. Hi, everybody here at the Black College Expo. CSU Chico, always a proud supporter of historically black colleges and students going to school. Having a wonderful time. Talked to a lot of students that applied to Chico State. Love talking to eighth graders, sophomores, juniors. So, wonderful event. Hope to see you next year. Hello, name's Malcolm with Student Life and Leadership at CSU Chico. Just here supporting our students of color, making sure they're prepared to go to college. Hi, I'm Tracy Butts, Professor of English and Interim Associate Dean of the College of Humanities and Fine Arts. Uh, it's been a pleasure talking to many students and parents today. And again, I'd like to remind you to think about it. Um, students need to start applying for college for the following year uh, in the fall. So if you're graduating, the year before is when you need to get on the ball, so don't wait, get started. Good luck to you. My name is Shauna Holbrook. I'm with Samuel Merritt University and we're down here at the Black Expo speaking with numerous students who are ready and prepared and looking forward to going to college. We're right here in downtown Oakland on 30th and Telegraph and we do health care. So if you're interested in nursing, podiatry, occupational therapy or physical therapy, come see us. Hi, I'm Danielle Garvey representing San Diego State University here at the Black College Expo. I'm here recruiting students and also giving them information about our university. I can be reached at area code 619-594-3511 or if you contact us through our admissions page. Thank you. Well, welcome. I'm uh, Vance Pasqua and I'm the Dean of Admission and Financial Aid at William Jessup University. William Jessup is a four-year private Christian university in Rockland, California, which is just outside of Sacramento. Um, we are celebrating 75 years as a university and we have about a thousand students. We are a residential campus. Majors are all over the board from business and biology, psychology and ministry. We have a full athletics program with scholarships for athletics. Uh, we also give tons of academic scholarships. Matter of fact, the average financial aid package for our students is over $20,000. Uh, we would encourage you to come visit the campus. We have plenty of opportunities for you to come, stay the night, visit classrooms, hang out with students, eat in our four-star rated restaurant uh, cafeteria, and really get a chance to uh, see Jessup for, for yourselves. We hope to see you come visit us. Thanks. Um, so, Dr. Warmack, um, we wanted to know your experiences as you've come out here to the Bay Area um, when you went to, Mount, not Mount Pleasant, but Melpitas High School. What were some of the responses from the students as you visited? Well, great. We had a phenomenal experience. First off, thank you for inviting us out here. It's, uh, it's well worth our investment. As a president, for me to be gone for a week is tough. You know, but this is one I can justify and say that it was, it was real, really worth our investment to be out here, to be able to connect with the students from the Northern California and the Bay Area it was phenomenal for us. Well, um, we know you had a great story to tell, and, you know, I heard you guys gave out a few scholarships. Uh, what was the response from the students as they received those scholarships? I think we had students that were just extremely excited about the scholarship breakdown, and, and we plan on giving out more scholarships. Our, our goal was to give out a minimum of uh, fifty dollars to $200,000 worth of scholarships in this area, and we will meet that goal. And so students are applying. We've had over 200 students apply today out here to our institution, and so we're reviewing those. And if a student's qualified, we want to bring the historic black colleges to the uh, West Coast and let them know all the phenomenal things that are happening. Well, we're, we're, we're excited and we would love to see you guys back out here again and uh, thank you for coming. Please invite us. We look forward to being back. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank Appreciate you. it. All right. Okay, you're rolling. Hi, my name is Dr. Dewan Warmack and I serve as the president of Harris Stowe State University, St. Louis, Missouri, the only historically black college in St. Louis, Missouri. We're excited to be here in Oakland, California, Northern California, recruiting brilliant minds from out in this area to try to get them exposed to historically black colleges and universities. Harris Stowe, founded in 1857 as a teaching institution for blacks, We're excited to be here and be a part of this great program. Please go to www.hssu.edu 
Once again, if you're interested, go to www.hssu.edu. Let's go Hornets. We're here with our title sponsor, Wells Fargo. So as the Black College Expo presented by Wells Fargo, and I'm here with the yeah. very distinguished yeah. Jimmy Parker, yeah. yeah. the beauty person. He runs Oakland. He runs this Bay Area. And he is the new person here at Wells Fargo. I'm glad you're all home. And I'm so excited to be here. Why don't you still make it yourself and tell me who you are and what you do? Absolutely. Teresa's too generous. My name is Dexter Hall. I'm uh, Vice President of Wells Fargo, running our Oakland main location. Um, on behalf of Wells Fargo and our 22,000 Bay Area team members, we're once again proud to sponsor the Black College Expo here in Oakland. Um, 12 years ago? 12 years ago was the very first, and we were there at the very beginning, and 12 years later, we're still committed as we ever were. Um, to ensuring the success of minority students. What Teresa's work does, connecting them to universities and colleges, allowing them to be accepted to university and colleges on the spot. But I think even more important is giving them hope um, that it can be done, that the dream of a college education can be achieved in their lifetime, and we're happy to be able to do that. Thank you. Yes, and I'm just going to say, he's not going to say it, but Wells Fargo is And they have special programs in which, because I'm a baby user, uh, my son, when he went to school, the first thing he was able to do was open up an account at Wells Fargo, and he was able to start understanding uh, financial literacy and understanding credit. So he was able to develop his credit profile, understand how credit works, and get his uh, yeah, a credit card now, he's going to start a business. And it's all because of the tools that Wells Fargo gives you. They're giving some wonderful books today on um, planning and preparing for college that are phenomenal. And it's not just about them being here and they're sponsoring their businesses. They're here because they care. And I think that's what's more, to me, a stamp and an underlying message. And that's why I'm excited to talk about it because I'm a product of it. And I just, I'm excited to be there and have to be a sponsor. Is there anything else they need to know about Wells Fargo that they don't know that you need to tell them? Well, I think number one in the uh, Bay Area itself alone, uh, Wells Fargo is the largest country for giving. Uh, we're giving out over $22 million in just 2014 alone. So we're, we're happy to continue to partner with the community. And as Teresa said, a big part of ours is the education. Uh, we recognize that if we are able to educate a generation, that we're able to continue to uplift the communities in which they live. Lots of people want to give out tools and, and books and, and pens and keychains. And one of the things that I tell my team is, is that we give out education. And if we educate correctly, then we'll be able to allow them to buy pens and keychains for a lifetime. So we're happy to partner with Teresa, and we're happy to partner with many organizations throughout the Bay Area. And we're looking for your organization to partner with as well. Thank you.